so right so what we have done till now is we have created a group of company and then we have created company codes and then we have linked over by assigning the company code to company fine so the next step would be to maintain a physical year variant now as you know that there are many various accounting periods across the world few end from few start from jan and until december few start from april and until march so here you're going to choose a uh, fiscal year variant so what if i going to choose is something called k4 which is by default there in sap which is from jan to december this is a regular posting period and then you got four special posting periods to cover the transactions which you couldn't in the normal posting period right so um, log on to sap you are created on the initial screen of the 29 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose the um, transaction key ob29 so ob29 so this is the fiscal year variants that i was talking about so you got various different fiscal year variants few people have created and few are there by default in sap so i'm going to see for k4 right so k4 is the one that i'm going to use So what we gonna do here is just see this K4. So it says calendar year and four special peers. So all this is just default. So just see this, check this, and leave it. So just come back. Yes, I don't want to save any data. So fine. So now I'm gonna create a fiscal year variant. Uh, so this is done. So now I'm gonna assign this fiscal year variant that I've just checked, that is K4, to our company that is 1999, which is Matins Technologies. So I use the shortcut OB29. If you wanna use the navigation path, it's under financial accounting. Let me show you the navigation path, SPRO. So app IMG reference, uh, you have seen everything in enterprise structure, you have done like defining a company and all those things here. Sorry, defining company here. So I'm done with enterprise structure and now you go to financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, fiscal and here is where we're doing the fiscal year very stuff. Right, so I'm gonna go with the shortcut key with the transaction code. So I'm the main screen, so the, sh uh, the code is OB29. So um, actually the code is not OB29, it's OB37. Okay, so I'm here, I go to OB37. Right, so I'm gonna position my company code that is 1999. So here it is, and I'm gonna use the variant K4. That's it. And then you save this. So there's someone who has left this, so that's the reason I'm getting an error. So I click this, I give the request, and I'm done. Let's go back home. So I've assigned the company code. And now I'm gonna s define a variant for open posting period. Right, so in this step we define a variant for open posting period for a company code. So the code is OBB0, the transaction code is OBBO. I go here, so now I say new entry and then I give the new variant that is 1999 and I say posting variant from the spec. Enter save give the request number, save it, done. Now why do we all do these things? You can refer to the notes on techframes.com in detail. Alright, now we are gonna have open and close posting period. Again, so there are many posting periods uh, like you'll have, you'll see as for G I A for assets, D for customers, L for vendors and all those things and for simplicity we choose plus and we say that what are the posting periods we need. So
so let's go here and let's say ob52 and then i click on new entry so these are the various posting periods for different company codes and all so i say new entry and iq 1999 and the type of account you just check which are the type of accounts if you want to give a different posting period for different accounts check each and write in the file lines uh, like D for assets, A, D for customers, A for asset, K vendors, M material, S for GL and all those things. But I would like to give a common one so I say plus. Right and then from account to account is blank and here I say from period year is 2012 to 12, 2001 to. Right and then it says special period so I say 13. 2012 and it's installed 2012 so this is what we have entered so uh, 13 2012 I mean the next four months are the special accounting periods so click on save give the same request number you're done right and now once you have done once you have created a some posting period now we need to assign this posting period to our company code so that our company code takes those posting periods so the transaction code again is obbp so find your custom company code 1999 is here and then i assign the variant so what is the variant it's 1999 again all right I'm sorry. Eight portion nineteen ninety nine. So nineteen ninety nine and as a save. So now it's saved. And now we need to define document type and number ranges. So what how many documents do we need for this fiscal? So we're gonna define it here. So you go back to your home easy reference easy access or ba7 i've got a new entry no more range information give your company code 1999 and click on change intervals click on insert interval and enter what you enter this information so 2012 0000012 i need documents tell 999 for this first cup that's it and then you hit enter save you got a pop up just save it that's it go back home so this is a step till defining number ranges and document type so you have done the five next five steps, we will see the next five steps in the next class. Thank you.